What's going on guys? How are we doing? Welcome to another edition of the rounds and of course it's time to pour another pint of knowledge here. And before we get into it, it's important to know that Brew Dare drank that and all that ales proudly present the rounds. Uh, as we live out our dedication and passion to bring you the freshest and tastiest in all their brews each and every episode. Uh, today we are heading back over to Louisiana. Now, just a short while ago, I would have ignorantly said NOLA. But, Abita is not from New Orleans. They may be the predominant brewery in Louisiana. They may claim New Orleans up and down. They are not from New Orleans. Being that they aren't inside the city limits, supporting the local economy in that fashion, I'm not going to say it. Uh, where they are located, the name slips my mind right now, I'll make sure to post it for you, uh, is actually about an hour outside of New Orleans. It's uh, about 45 minutes from what I was told while I was there. Uh, all that aside, <clears throat> here we go. This is the Turbo Dog. Uh, now, Abita has a core brand of about four beers, I believe. Uh, they also have seasonal releases. They do have some special releases. They are involved in their local economy in terms of uh, they have a Save Our Shores beer, which is specifically designed to help the Gulf, especially since the advent of that horrible environmental disaster. Um, so this is one of their core brands. They consider it to be a brown ale. Turbo Dog features three different malts, one hop, and comes in at 5.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, the three malts involved, we will get back to just shortly. The one hop in here is Willamette Hops, proving beyond a shadow of a doubt, I would say, that the Northwest is pretty much influential everywhere. Um, actually, last when I was in New Orleans, probably a little while back, maybe only a month or two, maybe not even a month and a half, uh, I had a what I thought was a friendly discussion uh, with two of the finishing brewers from Abita who were adamant about the fact that the Northwest hadn't had as large an impact as I would like to say it has. Uh, and yet, one of their flagship beers features Willamette Hops from, from the Northwest. So, uh, Maverick and Guido Goose, or whatever your other nickname was, uh, just for you guys and your edification, please take note, be aware. If you're using hops from the Northwest in your flagship beers, you might sound a little silly if you say that the Northwest hasn't had a huge impact on the American craft beer revolution. Now, moving on. <clears throat> the three uh, malts involved are uh, pale, caramel, and chocolate malt. So, uh, obviously, this is going to be a bit of a malt-driven ale. Uh, they call it brown, but it does pour nearly pitch black. Highlights of uh, ruddy copper and garnet around the edges. Head wasn't over the top uh, and seems to be breaking down. It may stick around. It's kind of, um, it's working that in between. We're going to see what happens. Uh, the caramel and chocolate play together quite well and really almost provide kind of an earthy like a dusty cocoa like a, like a not quite like a bittersweet German chocolate uh, but but much more like a powdered cocoa or a powdered chocolate as opposed to a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate that kind of thing there is a touch of the hops there that I think might encourage that earthy characteristic I just mentioned Nice pronunciation of the chocolate up front. A little bit of caramel in through the middle there. And I kind of feel like the pail is picking up at the end in conjunction with those hops. Those hops. Sorry, the hop. <laughs> There's only one. My fault. <laughs> it's not bad. It's, it's not bad at all. Um, even though you can see that they've used a, a proper amount of malt here. Um, and this is a characteristic that I've noticed in a few of the beers I've had from Abita. 
and it, and it, it sounds weird to say this, being that you know you really you can't legitimately see through the glass, but it it's tasting a little watery. Um, and that's not because it's lower alcohol than other brown ales. I mean, 5.6 is a very respectable alcohol point, uh, or, or ABV. Uh, it's just, and I don't, I, for the life of me, couldn't explain it. But it just, it almost tastes separate. Like, I taste the beery aspect, but it still tastes kind of, kind of watery. Like, the mouth feel is just too light, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and and judging on the amount of malt here in the glass, I really shouldn't be able to say that the mouthfeel is too light. I mean, it should have some nice malt flavors to it, and it and it does. It presents very clearly, you know, chocolate up front, caramel in the middle. And just a light, hot bitterness right at the beginning and right at the end. Uh, and it kind of lingers around for just a little bit. Nothing bad, though. Uh, Abita. Let's talk price point. Uh, price point on Abita should be... Should be... $8.99? I want to say $8.99. Might be $7.99. $7.99 to $8.99. Uh, they also do a series of 22-ounce bombers, including the SOS, the Andy Gator. Uh, and I can tell you right now that for those of you who haven't tried Abita... A, definitely try them. Give them a shot. Uh, B, uh, Andy Gator is probably one of their most highly acclaimed beers. Um, and, uh, the I mean, that's just on public opinion. Like, if you talk to people who are Abita fans, one of the first beers typically out of their mouths is going to be the Andy Gator. Um, not bad. Not great. Not bad. Uh, would I buy it on a regular basis? Meh. Um, this episode is actually in dedication to a good buddy of mine, Ryan. What's going on, buddy? Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ryan was a huge help to me when I was first getting started and, and trying to figure out how I was going to wade into the, uh, the wonderful world of beer vlogging. And uh, he's a total badass because anybody who can help me out with technology I don't understand and accept payment in beer... It's obviously a good person, in my opinion. Um, so here it is. Ryan, I have tried the beer you told me to try. Let it not be said that I don't listen to my viewers. Oh. Oh. I'm also quite couth, by the way. Um, that That's probably going to do it for us here today on the rounds. <laughs> so here's to it, guys. Remember, drink American, drink independent, and drink to your health. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. My name is Glenn, and we'll see you over our next pint, guys. Have a good one.